Hello everyone, welcome to the next video tutorial on Android app development for beginners. In the last video, we have learned about creating our first virtual device and how can we test our application on the virtual device or emulate. In this video, we will be learning about enabling the developer option on your mobile device and I will also even tell you guys how you can cast your Android device on your system. So guys, let's get started. Whenever possible, I recommend you testing your apps with a physical device you will get more realistic sense of how will your app behave for actual users and there are many things that a physical device can do that are difficult to emulate with the virtual device for this i have connected my development system or computer with a usb cable there are two types of usb cables that can be used uh, that can be used are uh, these are basically first one is a USB A to USB C cable that is commonly used in most of the newer device which you can see uh, this are basically these are the types of uh, first one USB cable that is a USB A to USB C cable and uh, these are uh, basically used in the newer device which you can see nowadays uh, that are available and the other one is a USB A to micro USB cable this you can see that that one is basically used in the older device uh, Android devices which may uh, which maybe you must be using nowadays as well but the two cable do exactly the same thing sending the message and data between your Android device and your development computer to make it easier what I am doing on the device I will be projecting live image of the system on my computer using Android casting on the device I will go to the cast feature on my Android device and on my system I will open the connect app afterwards I will see the device uh, available in my Android uh, that system the device name that's a desktop name so I will click on that you can see that the uh, device is basically being shown in my system so as uh, and the most important thing for casting make sure the device and your computer are connected to the same Wi-Fi network and I'm displaying and receiving the images on the computer you are seeing the actual physical device not the virtual device running and I will be so whatever I will be doing on my phone I am manipulating that things on my computer screen so you can just see that I'm just going to play a YouTube video trying to open my channel just going to open my latest video you can even watch it in the full screen as well you can just see that whatever I am just seeing I can just manipulate those things in the system so now after connecting your device the USB cable you must make sure that it's properly being connected now I will tell you about one more tool which I can use now for right now I will be just disabling the casting feature and I will tell you so the another feature there is one more tool which you can use to cast your mobile device on your computer open Chrome wait for a while I will just connect my device with the USB cable for this this is a must move thing on the screen you must see now I will go to inside the setting after that I will go to the extension here you can see that the visor extension you can also use this feature I will tell you about this link in the details section where you can download it so I will click on the details after that I will go to the view chrome web store after that I will click on the launch app option you can see that the device name is available along with the serial name so I will just connect my device So you can see that this is another option available for casting your device. Make sure you connect your USB device with a 
computer using USB cable and also have developer option enabled in the device. Now I will tell you guys how you can enable a developer option. To enable a developer option just click on setting. After that just go inside about phone. And after that just click on MIUI version for several times. It is saying, saying that I am already a developer. After that you can see inside additional setting. This developer option available. After that just click on this. Allow enabling developer option. After that you need to just make sure that these things are enabled. USB debugging. Ok. Install by USB. USB debugging security feature just click on next after that accept warning and after that you need to just wireless display certification mobile data always active and uh, other features need not to be and these are all the features we need which needs to be enabled or make sure that you have developer option being enabled now I will tell you guys that where you can see that your device is being shown you can see that it is showing my device and system so that's it for this video in the next video I will tell you guys how you can use google documentation inside your android studio guys please like and subscribe my channel and thank you guys once again